peace, peace, Ali. Coming back at you on behalf of SAliMyers.com. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a few tips that you can use in order to break down any movie. All right, so the first thing that I want you to pay attention to is not to pay attention to the main storyline and pay attention to the subplot or the underlying storylines. What do I mean? Every movie has a main plot or summary. This could be shown on a trailer and also the synopsis. What you wanna focus on is what's not being said. So let me give an example. You can watch a movie, a gangster movie, where the Don, um, the whole plot is about him moving across country. That's the main plot. Now a subplot or a sub storyline could be that he has a mistress, that he has another family, and the things that he's doing when he's with them. That doesn't fit the main narrative of the movie, that's a sub plot or sub storyline so the first tip is don't pay attention to the main story that's for the general audience what you want to do is look at the sub stories or the subplots that don't fit the main narrative that's where your jewels are going to be placed at okay within the sub plot or the main storyline uh, the main plot doesn't matter you want to look at any colors that are either prominent or subtle so so say that there's a room and it's all white but there are specks of yellow and in, in, in weird places or whatever that yellow means something say that you're say that um, he's he's walking to a to a store and he has a bunch of scenery where the colors are don't fit like it's like weird colors or different colors it's things that stick out that's what you want to pay attention to so when these colors stick out what you want to do is look at a color key one color key that you can use is the chakra system Another color key that you can use is the meaning of candle colors. So between chakras and the meaning of candle colors, you'll be able to extrapolate different meanings for those colors. So this tip deals with look at any colors that are prominent or subtle, then look at the meaning of those colors using the chakras or the meaning of candle colors. All right, another thing you can look at is numbers. Numbers are very prominent in movies. You'll see numbers on telephones, you'll see numbers on license plates, you'll see numbers on doors, you'll see you'll hear people's age you may hear phone numbers but numbers are very prominent in movies so whenever you hear a number or see a number write it down and see if you can find an alternative meaning for the numbers now the key that you want to use for numbers is the science of numerology now if you're not familiar with numerology it doesn't matter because we live in what 2018 you can just put it in Google so if you see a number that sticks out to you it could be prominent or it can be subtle Look at the meaning of that number. Also, what you can do is take that whole number and break it down to a single digit. So if you see a room, like say a hotel room is 123, you can take one plus two plus three, that is six, then look at the meaning for the number six. So this tip deals with numbers. Look at any numbers that stick out that can be prominent or subtle. Extrapolate the meaning from the number using numerology. You can also look into a science called gematria to look at the meaning of numbers. So number meanings using numerology or gematria is this tip. Okay, something else you can do is look at the meaning of names. And this may be a little harder than colors and numerology because there's not going to be a single key that I can give you. But the tip, the, the tip is look at alternative meaning for names and words and also look for words within words, sort of like warmonger, one who mongers war or whatever. Um, uh, the popular movie, the, the Matrix, main character in that movie is named Neo. When you look at the word Neo, just look at the definition Neo, of Neo. What does Neo mean? If I'm not mistaken, Neo means new. You can also look at Neo and switch the letters around and get a different word. That word is one. N-E-E, -E, N-E-O becomes O-N-E. So Neo is the one and he's a new breed of being. So that's just a, a short and quick example of how you can find alternative meanings for words and names. And you can also find words within words. So like I said, this tip may be a little bit more difficult, but especially people that have a lot of mercurial energy in their birth chart or they resonate heavily with the planet Mercury, usually people like that have an easy 
easier time dealing with words. But for this tip, you may have to practice, may have to write it down, look at it, scramble some words together, but just play with it. Just have fun with it. This is one of those tips that you just want to have fun with it. So look at different words, look at different names and see if you can find alternative meanings or see if you can find words within words is this tip. Okay, now that you have looked at the subplot or the sub storyline, you broke it down colors, you broke it down numbers, you broke it down names. Now at this point, just put everything together and see if you can come up with a storyline that does it that's not the same as the main storyline. From all those different subtleties, you should be able to come up with some sort of storyline that fits the main narrative, but they don't talk about in the plot in the summary or the trailer. This technique takes practice. All these techniques and things we talked about, it takes practice. But I can assure you, if you start doing it now, start seeing it with your third eye or your first eye, looking at movies in this way, what will happen is you'll automatically break down movies without consciously doing it. This is something I do now. I don't watch movies like I'm about to break this down and find some ill ill messages in or whatever. I'll watch movies, but based on my train, the way I've trained myself, I'm going to pick up subtleties in movies that probably most people don't. So what I'm here to tell you, you practice with these techniques eventually you'll be a master decoder. So this has been Ali. If you want to find out more information about myself and what we do, be sure to visit my main website, salimyers.com. If you're in need of metaphysical tools and natural healing products, um, check out our online metaphysical store, l9shop.com. That's E-L, the number nine, shop.com. If you're wanting to work with me in a company of other members, highly suggest that you check out my flagship program, Spiritual Master. Master Accelerator. You can find out all the information at spiritualaccelerator.com. So until next time, this has been Ali. Peace.